increase by 11. Going to be a cool night tonight, but not overly cold. Temperatures will remain above average tonight and not really worried about a refreeze. Most areas staying above freezing, so we're not too worried about ice tomorrow morning. 53 right now, Gaithersburg, 55 in Manassas. Look at Warrington, already down to 46 degrees. Now again, temperatures will drop fairly quickly because of the snow cover that we do still have out there, but we've actually got some clouds coming in, some warmer air trying to move in too, so that'll keep us from getting too cold tonight. On the radar picture, showing some uh, clear skies earlier today. That means no rain. Here's the rain. Looks like a lot of rain moving our way. Well, it is, but not tomorrow. It's not too far. But we've got high pressure to the north, and that's going to keep the rain just to our south. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, just to our south on Friday, but the next storm, Saturday, that's what's going to bring the rain in here. Look at Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Maybe some sleet in our northern zones here. Most of us dry, dry through noon, and then Hello, rain on Saturday, and we're expecting a lot of rain, too. Some locations could pick up half an inch to an inch of rain. And Amelia, we're talking about a big change from Saturday to Sunday. Absolutely, and that change, Doug, is going to be the temperatures on Saturday, a high of 44 degrees. Sunday, we are near 70 degrees with a high temperature of 68. Now, as we look to the weekend rain, the most rain is going to fall Saturday night. So if you have dinner plans out, you're going to see a movie. Plan for rain out there on your Saturday night. And like Doug was saying, we could see anywhere from a half of an inch to around an inch of rain. And with that much rain, in addition to the snow from yesterday, some flooding is going to be possible out there on Saturday. Saturday night, especially in low lying areas on Sunday, showers and during the morning hours, I think early morning hours, but then the winds really pick up with gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Here's uh, your weekend planner Saturday at 6 p.m. It is a cold rain with a temperature around 40 degrees 10 p.m. on Saturday. It's still raining, but we have near steady or even slowly warming temperatures Saturday into Sunday 6 a.m. on Saturday. Some showers out there by 10 a.m. I think we're dry. It's breezy. We're starting to warm up about 50 degrees. The weather dog definitely having an impact on the weekend. If you're heading to brunch on uh, Saturday, might want to bring the small umbrella just in case. Skiing spring-like conditions from the rain on Saturday to the warm temperatures on Sunday. It'll be okay. You might want to fit it in because it is nearing the end of the season. Hold off though on getting the car wash with rain in the forecast on Saturday. And then as we look to the work week, maybe tracking a little something out there on Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. So watch out this weekend, Saturday. Uh, I'll be down there at Capital One Arena. Three on three basketball tournament. Yep, just before the Wizards game. That's going to be a lot of rain. Guess who's playing with me, guys? We're playing for the Kidney Foundation. Yeah, who? Shamari Stone is All on right. my team. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's got game. We put together an NBC team every single year. 68 on Sunday, a warm one here. 70% chance of AM rain, but then most of afternoon looking okay, but rather windy. 52 on your Monday, 50 degrees on Tuesday. Here's that chance of snow on Wednesday. Small chance, not a big storm there. Bigger storm fits the pattern next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. No, let me go this. But next weekend, <laughs> that would be the first weekend of March. Now I can get out of the way. Doug, thank you. Well, the storm could have been a contender, but it wasn't. But we have plenty of creative entries for, I keep wanting to say entrees. Uh, entrees. <laughs> it's dinner time entrees. for our latest entrees. snow stick challenge. Uh, boy, thanks to you. What a, a, a time. Yeah, we had a it was really, you guys of great have been ones. really fun and creative out yeah. there. The theme this time around recreate your favorite movie moment in the snow. And now the judges, well, they've weighed in. Pat Collins back on his perch where things look a bit more clear today yeah. than they did uh, before. But wh what do you got for us, Pat? What are the final four? Well, I tell you, uh, Wendy, we had dozens of entrees uh, into our <laughs> snow stick challenge. But this time we had a snow stick challenge. First, you see, we had a tie. And then we had another tie. The judges, well, they had to have a vote off. One, two, Three, show me the number. This time it was close, real close. Well, this is really hard. So they watched and voted. Okay. Three way tie. Oh, and goodness. watched and voted. Tie again. Are we tied again? And watched again and voted again. We have a winner. Oh, that's it. When Guardian Leviosa. It was an Oscar inspired snow stick challenge, and the entry so good, it had our judges conducting a vote off to find the winner. You so guys are fun. Fun. We had so many amazing entries. Even the judges couldn't decide because we loved them so much. The rules. Dress as your favorite actor or actor.